United States Air Force officially agreed to comply with an EPA order to come up with a cleanup plan for groundwater near south side plants. 13 News reporter Sean Mahoney joins us live with more on what that step could mean. Hey, Sean. Now, the EPA has been asking for the Air Force's compliance in the cleanup efforts around these plants on the south side for the better part of a year, going so far as to order their compliance in a order back in May. But for months, it looks like the Air Force might not go along with this cleanup effort, finding other avenues to try and get out of this help. But with this new announcement this week, there is a collaborative action plan in place, which could be a huge help for Tucson and is residents in getting this cleanup effort underway. 10% of all water systems in Arizona are contaminated with PFAS, according to the EPA, including two Air Force plants and a National Guard base near Tucson International Airport. The areas are contaminated with PFAS from foam used to fight liquid fires, something which, if untreated, could cause major health problems. We continue to see impacts to the, the, the wells that supply um, uh, that that part of Tucson and uh, we've seen increases in concentrations of PFAS in the influent. After investigating this for over a year, the EPA put together standards for acceptable drinking water and a hazardous material list to require compliance at sites like the plants which use the foam. But narrowing down who needs to comply was the issue. This is a really complicated site. It's not just that we have one entity that use PFAS. We actually have a number of different entities which use PFAS on each other's facilities in addition to their own facilities. Now, the new guidelines required those contaminated water systems to be fixed by 2027, but the Air Force wasn't in a rush. Despite a May order by the EPA to comply with the cleanup efforts, the Air Force dragged their feet looking at a Supreme Court ruling to determine if they had to help. I think that it, initially the Air Force had questions since we don't really know exactly who contributed how much PFAS into that groundwater that's created this problem. But now they will, and the next step is to figure out how much it will cost. Despite Tucson receiving $30 million of federal funding for the cleanup, it's still not clear how much will go towards this project and who will foot the bill. That involves uh, sharing in some of the costs of um, a new treatment system, and then we also need to further characterize the extent of the PFAS that's in the groundwater. But the Air Force's participation is something all parties hope will help. Our goal is to really work with all of the parties involved to get work plans together and to figure out what is the path forward for investigation. Now, I did reach out to the city of Tucson and Tucson Water for a comment on this new development. They declined to comment, citing the open negotiations and investigations into the cleanup effort and who will be liable moving forward. We will make sure to keep you updated as we learn more and as this plan moves forward as well. Reporting live from the South Side, Sean Mahoney, 13 News.